Welcome back to BBC News. Let's get an update on the story from Kenya we've been looking at over the last few days. The death toll among followers of a Kenyan cult who believe they'd go to heaven if they starved themselves. That has now risen to 90. The number of people who died has been steadily rising over the days as the authorities continue to carry out exhumations of mass graves found in an 800-acre area of forest in eastern Kenya. Uh, let's get the latest on this story. Let's talk to our Africa Health correspondent, Dorcas Wangira, who's uh, there in uh, County and uh, Dorcas, uh, I know you've been to this area over the last 24 hours. Just uh, take us through the, the horrifying rise in numbers that we've been seeing. Well, indeed, just like you said, every day authorities fear that the number, the toll keeps going up. We were there yesterday and we were able to see for ourselves the grave sites that had been marked. And in each grave site, there are several numbers of uh, shallow graves. I saw one that was almost two feet deep. There were five bodies inside, which I did count. And at the same time, there were body bags in another tent. Well, this morning, um, the area has been restricted. The, secu the security minister here in Kenya has declared a curfew in the ranch where this forest is contained. So we went there this morning, and we were not able to get any updates yet. But just right now, we are also learning that the director of public prosecutions has uh, received an order from the magistrate courts here in Malindi to seize or to seize uh, documents belonging to the controversial cult leader. So as investigations continue, we hope that we will have a more conclusive figure and understand where this operation is at. Well, there we're going to leave it. But uh, as you were saying, uh, over 90 bodies uh, recovered so far and those uh, those searches continue. So uh, another bleak update there from that uh, story there in Kenya.